Okay, welcome back. This is part two of my newsletter tutorial series. And in the last video, we pretty much created our entire form to send our newsletters. And go ahead and refresh this page. We now have our send button. Uh, so it's just a simple form. It's really the only things that we need. Um, because the two, what we're going to be sending the message to, uh, we're going to be using our database that stores all of the people that have signed up for our newsletter. So we're going to come down here. And we're going to put in an if statement. We're going to say if um, dollar sign underscore post and our brackets and our single quotes. And this is our send button. So if our send button has been clicked or pressed, um, we're going to do that. Else, but if it has not been clicked or pressed, we're just going to display our form. So inside of here, we want to get our info. So we're going to say webmaster. And we're going to set this equal to dollar sign underscore post. Brackets. Ah, there we go. And this is webmaster. And I'm going to do something right here. It's going to be called strip. Strip underscore tags. Now, um, I don't use this very often in my tutorials. Uh, but you should definitely use this if you're using a live form. Uh, and the reason being is because it gets rid of any HTML tags that you have inside of your forms. Especially if it's a, a user submitted form, you definitely want to check for HTML tags. Or you can just use the strip tags to get rid of all tags, all HTML tags. Uh, so our next one is subject, and then subject. And our last one is our message. So, message. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement to check to make sure all of these are uh, filled in. So I'll sign webmaster, and then two and signs, then dollar sign subject, two and signs, and dollar sign message. And then just our brackets, and then our else. Um... You did not fill in the entire form. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so we check to make sure all of this, all of our form, is filled in. Uh, so inside of here, pretty much, we just want to send our email. Actually, we'll check to make sure that the webmaster is valid email. So we're going to say if, we say str, str, and you want to put two parentheses, and then inside of those two parentheses, we want to say dollar sign webmaster, comma, and then parentheses, or er, uh, quotes. Inside of these quotes, we want to put an at sign. And then go right here, put and str str parentheses uh, web uh, webmaster and then we want to say just like that so the same thing twice in a row pretty much and then an at and a dot and the reason being is those two symbols because in order for an of email to be valid it has to have an at sign and a period somewhere inside of it so it's not full, it's not 100% foolproof, but it gives you a better chance of being valid. And if it's not a valid email that you enter, uh, you'll get errors. Like if it's not a real email, like if you just put like an at and a dot, it, you'll get errors. So, yeah. Um, so we're gonna say you did not submit a valid email. Okay. So inside of this if statement right here, what we're going to do is we're going to require, and this is going to be our connect file, so connect.php, um, and then we want to put in a query variable, oops, so I'll sign query equals mysql underscore query, and inside of here we want to say select all from and it's called newsletter, I believe. Yeah, newsletter. Um, 
and that's, that's pretty much our entire query right there. So right here, we want to say, uh, put in a while loop. Inside of our while loop, we're going to do row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. And then inside of here, we have our query variable. So inside of our while loop here, what we want to do is we want to get the email um, from our database. So we're going to say dollar sign row, and then this is just email. So that's really the only piece of information we need because we don't really need the ID. So yeah. Uh, now what we're going to do is we want to compose our mail send function. So we're going to use the mail function right there. It's just that's the setup for it. So the first thing we want to send, our, our first parameter in here, is our from, which in this case is our webmaster. And then we have our, our uh, I believe it's the two is next. Our, uh, oh, no, actually, the first parameter is the two, sorry. Email. Our first parameter is our two, so that's the email uh, va value, variable. Uh, the next thing is our subject, so just our subject variable. So simple enough, subject. And the next one is our actual message, so dollar sign message. And the last thing is our headers. Now, when you're sending an email using the PHP function, you really only need one header. Um, so we're going to actually create this header up here, and we're going to store it in a header. Headers headers variable right there so just like that so right here we're going to create a variable called headers and we're just going to equal it to now we want to say from and it has to be a capital F in from and then a colon and then a space and this is our webmaster now if you want to have it say like it's from a specific name and then the email you want to put this inside of the greater than and less than signs and then outside of it you want to say your name so just say I'm just going to say basic Nick uh, Nick's newsletter um, so it'll say basic Nick's it'll say it's from basic Nick's newsletter and then the um, the webmaster in this case will be basic.nick at gmail.com so that is uh, how that is set up so pretty much that's all we need to send our emails um, so after this we're just gonna put in an echo and we're gonna say uh, your newsletter has been sent just something real simple so that's really all we have to do for this form so we've actually gotten uh, all the info to send the information uh, but the only problem is, is we don't have any emails inside of our newsletter database table so we're going to create a new file and I'm just going to go ahead and save it out and I'm just going to call this add.php now all this is going to have is come up here sorry uh, all this is going to have is the uh, form to add people to your database uh, your newsletter database or table um, so really you could have this on any page um, you really just need this entire script that this page is going to contain so I'm just going to say form equals and form action equals now the action is going to be whatever page whatever page this is on so if it's on a page called like newsletter it would be newsletter and then the extension in this case is PHP so we want to say the method equals post and then and the form and then just the table and then and the table whoa and the table um and then we're just gonna have a TR and TR TD and TD. I'm actually gonna stop this video here. 
Uh, in the next video, part three, we will finish up the entire newsletter tutorials.